Hey guys! Um, so I'm doing the album tag of 2016 video, which again I also feel like needs to be out as fast as possible in January before it's like weird to put out. Um, I've done a couple videos you probably saw of like my favorite singles and my favorite albums, but I thought this tag was really fun and I wanted to do it, so I'm sorry you have to live through another one of these. So the first question is what is your favorite album of 2016? And I made a whole video about this and I will link that down below for you guys and you can see that there, who my favorite was. My, the second question is, what was your favorite photo book of 2016? So my favorite photo book actually comes from probably one of my least favorite albums, and that is, whoop, whoa, knocking over my tripod, Oh My Girls, a uh, special summer album. So as much as I didn't like this, because it's mostly just like a remake album um, of a bunch of songs I'm not familiar with, I thought this photo book was fantastic. Oh My Girl generally has really good photo books, but this just is like my favorite kind of concept. Um, in the same vein, as you guys probably know, I really like um, SNSD's party <laughs> single and I own it now. I bought it mostly for the photo book because I really like these summer concepts where they're like hanging out at the beach or like at the pool and there's like cute but not revealing swimsuits and it's like shorts and it's really colorful and tropical and I just really like that and so that's why this was my favorite um, photo book of the year. So it's a good one. Check out all my girl, they're great. <laughs> Even though this album was not the best. The third, oops, the third question is the best packaging of 2016. So my favorite kind of packaging was done a lot this year, and that's sort of like this bound um, booked packaging that SM was doing for Tiffany's um, I Just Want to Dance. So you get like the CD there, you have the photo book here, and it's nice, and it's like kind of glued on well, and it's hard cardboard, which I also really like. Um, they did the same for Taylor's Why. Oh, that was my dog. Sorry about that. Um, and then they also did this for twice this year, which was really great. Um, the twice packaging again, the hard cardboard, you have the CD and all the stickers and stuff inside with the photo book. This one is an extra benefit of having a um, slip cover, which I thought was really nice as well. So that was my favorite like packaging style. That's generally my favorite packaging style. So I'm glad that SM seems to be sticking with that a little bit. The worst packaging of 2016, um, I think a lot of people have been saying this, so I'm not really, <laughs> I'm just kind of just beating a dead horse at this point. And that's Oh My Girl's Pink Ocean. Um, this style of packaging is fine, I guess, in general, but there's like this big space that you can see between the end of the box and the thing and the slipcase. And so it's just, you can like push it down. See, look at all that space that's there. Um, so if you can't put stuff on this, you can't really do a lot with this. Um, so this is probably my most disappointing one. The other one that really disappointed me that I don't physically have, but have seen unboxings of is four minutes act seven. I tried to kind of get like a shot where you can see it, but basically this is super thin ass cardboard. Um, and you like open it and there's like the CD just like hanging out. And then over there is like pictures, which are postcards and it's really, really thin and flimsy. And everyone I've seen who's gotten it, has, it's gotten to them damaged because there's just no way it can't be. So that's probably my least favorite as well. I'll try to find an unboxing. I think Tina did one of this and I'll link it down below so you can kind of see it in all of its terrible glory. Um, but yeah, those were the worst <laughs> for me this year. Um, number five, your favorite rookie girl group. I didn't listen to a lot of rookies this year because no one was really intantalizing me, but my favorite by far definitely has to be Momo Land. Um, they're, I'm going to actually buy their album. I liked them that much. I haven't gotten that yet, but basically, um, Momo Land just, I really liked their lead single and that whole album was pretty good. So hopefully they have another comeback that's pretty successful for them. They're kind of cutesy, but not too bad. Um, they actually remind me a teeny tiny bit of like mix. And then your favorite rookie boy group is question number um, six. That is six in sign language, fun fact. Um, American sign language. Uh, I do not listen to boy groups like at all. Very rarely, I should say. As you guys probably know from this channel, I am girl group trash. So I don't have one unless card counts, um, which I don't think it should because they're kind of a co-ed group, so it's different. Um, question seven, which is seven in sign language. The album that surprised you. Cards definitely surprised me. It wasn't really an album, I will say that. So their um, single that came out, I really, really liked, and I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I'll also say, I think, in general, Oh My Girls albums, like, surprised me with their consistency and goodness um, from the positive sides of what surprised me. And then on the negative side of what, like, surprised you, I would say Big Bang's Big Bang's Made album. As much as I really liked it when it came out in, like, basically 2015 with all those singles, it's like I waited an entire year and those were the three songs that you gave me and they weren't even that good. Like, F It is not a very good song, in my opinion. Basically, it wasn't worth waiting for. Um, Lost Dance is fine. It's just, you know, it has a sentimental VIP ballad, which is great and fine, but 
I was just kind of disappointed that they spent all this time and they took all this time to come out for, especially for people who are huge fans of Big Bang, and I don't really feel like it delivered anything that it needed to be worth waiting for. Um, number eight is what is your favorite non-Korean release? I did not listen to a lot of uh, K-pop goes J-pop this year, mostly because SNSD didn't release anything and they're mainly who I listen to. Um, I did like FX's Cowboy, but I really think my favorite thing from this year was Sayonara Hitomi from Taemin. I just freaking love that song and I'm very disappointed in myself for having slept on it when it came out. If you have not listened to that song, highly recommend it. It is very, very good. And the video is really good too. Um, number nine, your favorite subunit albums. So I don't have an easy one this year because TTS didn't come back and there was no new like SNSD subunit, um, unless you count that station song with Yuri and Sohyun, but I'm not going to, even though that song is great. So actually, I really liked XOCBX um, that came out. I'm not like a humongous EXO stand. I do like EXO. I thought Hey Mama was a really great song. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and the rest of their album was pretty good as well. So I think it was cool that they like kind of had a mix of people to showcase their first subunit and um, that they delivered actually a pretty quality, pretty quality track that wasn't just like a, um, that wasn't just like a ballad or whatever. Uh, question 10, that's 10, isn't that cute? Um, who is your favorite solo album of the year? I basically talk about that in that same favorite albums of 2016 video, so I'm just gonna link that one to you. And then number 11 is your random album recommendation. So for this one, I am going to be recommending um, Jomi's album. So he came out with an album in 2016 that was, what's your number? It's really like a single, it's not a mini, because it's like three songs that are also in Chinese. Really what I want to recommend is Jomi's Rewind that came out in like 2015. This album is gold. Every track on this album is great. If you have not listened to this, you should definitely check it out. Um, this is pretty good too, but this was much better. So I'm just using this as my excuse to talk about this. Yeah, check out Jomi, he's great. Um, but yeah, so those were the, the album tag for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have done this yourself. If you haven't, you highly definitely should. Oh, I didn't say it. This was originally created by Random Me 2011. Sorry that I didn't say that. That's a bad, bad YouTube etiquette. Um, anyway, it was great to talk to you guys, and I will talk to you again soon with a new video. Bye!